Hi everyone and welcome back to our studios. Today in this video we're going to be custom painting denim patches. We've done a lot of custom painting clothes and shoes videos for our channel, but we've never actually done a video where we paint our own patches from old clothes that you can then attach to old clothes. Painting on patches is also really good for someone who isn't confident enough to paint directly on clothes yet, so it's a really good starting point. And you can use patches from old denim jeans or jackets or any old fabrics that you've got lying around the house that you're not actually using. All of the designs that we do today will be available to you on our new shop so you can customise your own items and clothes. So make sure to go check it out, but only after you've watched this video. So today we're going to start with four square patches of denim that I cut out of an old pair of denim jeans. Actually, you could probably get about 15 to 20 square patches of this size out of one pair of jeans. This challenge is a twin telepathy challenge, so the first thing that we'll do is separate the two sides with a board. But how it will work is we will have eight rounds. Mum has prepared all the materials for each round and themes as well. I have. It is not rigged, obviously. It is rigged. Somebody had to choose it, so I do know in advance what's to come, so I'll give them out. But I don't know what the other side's going to choose. Yeah. So it's only slightly rigged. I don't think it counts as rigged. No, I think, it doesn't. <laughs> I think it's been prepared by mum. Yeah. 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 Throughout each round, mum is going to give us a range of materials or themes. We don't know what they are yet. And then we will use those to decorate our patches. And we're going to try and pick the same one as the opposite team. If we get the same items, we get points. If we get different ones, we get no points. And at the end, we'll take the barricade down and compare what we've created. And hopefully they're similar. Barricade? Yeah. Barricade. barricade. If it was a barrier. Barrier. Barricade? What is I've that? Barricade Barracuda. I've paired two boxes for each team. So each team has got black and white paint. Well, you don't have black and white, but you can borrow ours. <laughs> we can lighten and darken any colours that we choose, but we can't mix them together. What about the pencils? And the pencils are there to draw designs out. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, if you need them. And, and Poshkas yeah. and Sharpies. Yeah, we can use black and white, I yeah. thought. We have put the twin telepathy board up and we've also got our basic materials and now we're going to move on to round one where mum is going to give us the option of something. Close your eyes, everyone. Okay. Three, two, one. Open your eyes. Oh. Ooh. This was similar to what we had, can you remember, in our yeah, twin clip, but I didn't have a clue, so now... We can actually work together and choose something. Mm. I want, and you have to, I have a reason why. Oh, really nice. Okay, I think they will choose this one. So do I. But I think, I can think of reasons why they would pick that one as well. Like generally and yeah. generalising, then I think they will pick that one. I think also because of the time of year, they're going to pick that one. Mm, yeah, good point. And because of... <laughs> You're just giving it away! No, no, not necessarily. It's not Christmas, yeah. is it? Not necessarily, because <laughs> both of these colours could mm. represent the time of year, depending on which perspective okay. you had. Genuine, like it relates to something mm -hmm. which, so isn't, this which is associated with this time of year. So we're going to pick this one, and we're going to pick this one. Pretty confident with this round, I've got to say. Are you mum? Yep. I okay. think we'll pick the same one. Close your eyes, and I'm going to get some more paints. How do I know, though, that what, what they just picked? Oh, now you're going to know. <laughs> I've just realised that if I go round there now and put the other two on the table, I'm going to see what you've chosen. Can you, can you put both of them on the table? What if we move one to the side? Yeah, just move your paints off the table. Okay. Didn't think that through. Three, two, one. Open your eyes. <gasps> oh, it's similar to last time. They're just like different shades, aren't yeah. they? Pink or blue? What we could do here is, and what might be happening with them, they might be going for a specific colour palette. So there's an option here to go for a specific colour palette, isn't there? So 
What I think is that whatever we chose before, whatever they chose before, they could choose the similar colour mm. now, or not. Do you think it would look better? Well, I think you could generate colours that are similar to both of these by using white. It depends on what you've uh, got for the first one though, doesn't yeah, it? Because you can't make that. both of them with white if you haven't got like mm -hmm. one of the colours. I think for that reason, they're going to choose this. that. So, we're picking this one, and we're picking this one. Three, two, one, open your eyes. <gasps> Ooh. Now, what do you think? Mm. <laughs> I know 100%. Oh, 100%. That. You've got to be true to yourself, Trey. Somebody over there does not like that colour. But I don't like the other one. <laughs> but I have a problem because I've got someone here who doesn't like that colour. That is nice. What? That with this is nice. That with this is not nice. You don't like that colour? No. Okay, what about this one? Do you think they'll pick it? So I think that's the one I don't like. That's the one Ruby doesn't like. Mm. I think they're going to go with that one. Okay, so we're going to choose this one. And we're going to choose this one. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? I don't know, she just laughed and I laughed. What's funny but, about this? I don't know. They do look funny, don't they? <laughs> with this round, you can make that colour with that one and that one with that one. So, mm. regardless of what we pick, we can end up with the same colour on it. This round is the colours, obviously they're both green, so like you already have the diversity of a different colour. I know what I would pick, that one. And I okay. think they're going to pick that one. I think so as well. Which one do you think they're going to pick? Mm, I don't think Ruby will like that one. Mm. Very much. I prefer that one. I prefer this one. Okay, so we think they're going to pick that one and we prefer it, yeah. so let's pick it. So we're picking this one and we're picking this one. Is there another round? Yes. Lovely. Okay, colours off the table. Open your eyes. Three, two, one. Oh, mm. cards. Themes. We have figurative or illustration, aesthetic slash nature, graphic slash pattern, and character slash cartoon. So this is going to be like what we're putting on there, isn't it? So think about what would they want. I think Dad will pick this one or want to pick that one, but I don't think Rayleigh will. I think they're going to think that you're picking these two, one of these two. I think that Mum will think I'm picking one of these two, which is what I'm definitely picking. Because mm. I think that they will pick, Ruby always picks something like that. Yeah. So I think they'll pick that. And I would be happy with that as well, actually, because Either of those oh, can be that. You could do this if you chose that. So I think they're going to choose that. I agree with you, but I really don't want either of those. <laughs> oh, really? What do I you really want? I really want that one. Mm, I really don't want that one. <laughs> oh. And I'm willing to put this video on permanent holes. Until? Hold, until you agree with me. Well, we're obviously not picking these two then, are we? Just You've really confused me. I don't, it's just got You're gonna be upset confusing. about that, are you? No, I'm just gonna produce something that will take a bit longer. I think they're gonna pick that one. That's what I think. Okay. Do you think? Yeah. It doesn't really, like, I don't mind at this point. No, I don't mind. So we're picking this one. And we're picking this one. Okay, so, three, two, one, open your eyes. Oh, two. Oh, does that mean the way you cut out the badge? It means the style. Die cut design, it might not be the wrong term, is where you do like a patch and it's the shape of it is the design, you know, it's oh, cut yeah, out. Yeah. Or, oh, or right. is it going to be a shape, like a circle? Yeah. Okay, I get it now. Right, so out of the two designs we've got the shapes, what do you think they're gonna choose? I think they're gonna choose that. Really, I think they're gonna choose that one. No, I think they're gonna choose that, yeah. Well, I, I would like to choose that. <laughs> Is that the real answer? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'd prefer choosing that one as well. I think it will look better. Initially, they might want to choose that, but the more they think about it, they'll want to choose that one. Actually, sorry, I thought about it. I definitely don't want to choose that. <laughs> Why? Um. All right. So, what do you guys think after going back and forth? <laughs> I think we're going to go that. So, on that note, we're picking this one, and um, we're picking this one. Three, two, one, open your eyes. More oh, paper. Oh. Ah. So 
So one says light side, which oh. is the light side of the denim, oh. and the other says dark side. Hmm. I suppose that's um. That's what we're doing, is doesn't it? I think it'll paint better on that side. Mm. That might be a good reason to choose it. Oh, I've no idea. To I'm be so fair. I can't stuck. Can't really tell the difference of the side <laughs> <laughs> from the colour. Yeah, I'd like to do this side. I think. Do you think? Yeah. Shall we? But I don't know, I'm a bit torn. You can choose because I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to choose. Go with that one then. Yeah. It's 50 50. No idea what they're going to choose, but we're going to choose that one. Okay, and again, we don't know what they're going to choose, but we both want to choose this one. Okay, this is the final round. Uh, open your eyes, 3 2 1. <gasps> ah, okay. We've got gold plus uh. pen. Silver Posca pen or no Posca pen? Just to keep in mind, the no Posca pen means that there is no compulsory Posca pen, but we still have the option of using a black or a white. What do you think? I think they're like that colour. Mm. I don't like it. It sounds like they think we're going to pick one. I don't think Ruby's going to want to pick one. I think that if I chose one, it would be that one. Hey, we know what we're doing. I think we choose that. We're going to pick that one. And we're going to pick this one. So we've got all of our materials in front of us. We know what colours we're using. We know what themes we're painting in. Yeah, we've done loads of research and now we know what we're going to be doing yes. for our patches. Then let's draw out our designs. have finished now pencil drawing as much as we can I think so this is mine just to give you a rough idea of what I'm doing this is mine yeah not much to it as far as though all I'm doing is using a paintbrush and one of my colors to mark it out rather than using a pencil that's mine at the moment mine's more of a developy design a developy so yours is going to build up yeah mine is a build one not a developy okay. but that's what it looks like so far <laughs> We're going to start painting now, we haven't started, so we'll kind of get to a midpoint and then maybe show everyone how we're doing. Yeah. Cool, I am absolutely loving this, I'm really enjoying it, really, really enjoying it. Okay, I've finished marking it out. What? I got the highlights marked in. Yeah, sort of. Highlights. Well, I have to really think about making sure it's well composed. And now I can just get stuck in. So, me and Mum, I don't know about these two, but me and mum are about halfway done with ours now. Mm -hmm. And this is how they're looking. I'm actually so happy with mine. And I have just a little bit more to do, which is quite a detailed part. You can probably kind of tell the design I'm doing without needing to say it. And it will be more obvious, like near the end. That looks nice. Like Thank it. You. And this is mine so far. Quite easy to do, um, about halfway through now. It did look like a Pepsi logo at one point. So Rayleigh's much further ahead than I am, aren't you? Well, I won't actually give anything away, but I will say after. I'm Right now, I'm on the building up stage. I've got the baseline of what I'm doing. Looks I'm really adding nice. final details, I'm editing it. I think at the end, it'll be really cool. Yeah, really nice. So I'm probably about halfway through as well. That's where I am at the moment. And one That's of the cool. things I've realized, I don't know how to explain it without giving anything away, is that the colors that I'm using are struggling to come through on the choice of background that I've selected. So I'm probably going to have to change the colour of the background. Wow. For me, I think I can get around that through building it. You don't need to because you've chosen a different combination of colours. Yeah, I know. But like bits like here, I can see your problem there. Yeah. Right then, so we will finish the rest of our designs and we'll be back to you with the final reveal. We will. <laughs> Kid painting.
just caught what Ruby's looks like and it's looking really nice. You happy with it? Oh yeah, I'm really happy with it. So that's what it's looking like so far, so you'll know what she's doing now. Nearly done. Yeah. Really pretty. Thank you. Like yours. Are you leaving the background that colour? I'm not sure. It's a bit too pink at the moment. I finished now. So have I. Well, I'm done now. You're mm. almost done. Not quite. So, I finally finished. So we have all finished now. It did take Dad about 20 minutes extra, which it did, yeah. hopefully lives up for that. I'm very excited to show mine. I'm very happy with how it's turned out. Yeah, and we've cleaned up all the mess. So should we take the twin telepathy board down? We'll see which side we're painting on when we <gasps> Yes. Yeah, yeah, except from that though, it's all covered up. That's one wrong. One wrong. Oh yeah. <laughs> should we see what we got right? First, the shape. Geometric. Yay! Yay! Now the side. Oh, oh right. Well, well, we got that side. We got right side. Oh. Style. Oh! Figurative Ooh. and illustration. Um, Aesthetic slash nature. I thought you did this one. You got one, so you didn't put a busker on. Okay. No busker. So yeah, we got so, one so far. Oh dear, that's not good, is it? So who wants to do it first? I don't <laughs> mind. I'll show first, yeah? Yeah. Three, two, one. It's <gasps> so cool. Whoa! What oh, is that? It's lovely. It's a darkling that? beetle. It's a darkling beetle. Yay. Oh my gosh. Darkling beetles grow from mealworms, which is like a real kind of staple food diet for, for our geckos. For leopard geckos. They're really it's, sweet. I found one on my floor the other day and I was traumatised. But they don't actually eat the darkling beetles. No. no, they leave them. They go for the mealworms though, which are the darkling beetles before. Mm. They challenge with beetles. That's so good. That That is really good. So if you like darkling beetles, which I do, I think they're really pretty, um, then just get yourself some mealworms and leave them and they'll eventually turn into darkling beetles. Here is my final darkling beetle patch. Oh, I That's love so that. Cool. That's so good. So we've done them all big. So when we actually do make them into patches, then they'll be smaller and the details will be a bit more condensed. Rayleigh! Um, I've got high hopes. I have. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, that's really pretty. Really pretty oh isn't no, it? that's so good. It works oh, I really love well. That. I love that. That is really. Oh, I love that. I would buy that. I can really Sweet. see that as a patch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. got like. Well, the flowers have different tones and colours in. They were developed a lot, and then there are swirly bits. I would oh. buy that. I would buy that. It's yeah. a perfect patch painting. That would look nice on a pair of like shorts or jeans. It'd be really pretty on a shirt or anything, really. I like it on a shirt. I feel like a denim, if there was a thing, a denim shirt with that on would be quite cool. Yeah, lovely. On the note, you've seen both of us. Have we done well? Colour wise. So we got the pink, the light salmon y pink. Yeah, the we got bright that. blue. Yeah, we got that. You didn't get a Posca pen, but we also got a green. We've done very well on oh, colours. I just told you to give it away. She <laughs> started oh. giving it away. So this is. Dad's and mine. They're both really good. They are perfect patches. Should I show first or mm -hmm, you? you yeah. Can. I feel like mine's very predictable because you did say earlier don't, that you were um, what I might do. What, like a sort of mountainous sunset yeah. thing. Oh anyway, no! Three, two, one. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's <laughs> really, really nice actually. Good. It looks really good, but I really can't predict that exactly. I like really like it. it. I, I love that. I yeah. think it's really good and I think that would look really good on a pair sure of shorts. reminds me of. You know, yeah. where you pour sand into those glass things to create a design? Oh, yeah. It does. Actually, I looked at one of those for inspiration. And again, these are going to be made smaller. I saw this as being a really kind of small circular patch. Yeah, I yeah. like it. Yeah, that would mm. be cute on my It's really, really, yeah, really, really fun. nice. It's like an ombre geometric sunset. It's really yeah, cute. so you could have it on like a pocket or yeah. an elbow or something. I do love it though. I love the colours you've got. The colours look so good and the tone's very consistent. Mm. Well, talking of colours, how do we do on colours? Sorry, yeah. Really we, well. We did we the, the same ones, didn't we? Did we? Yeah, I think, I think we got exactly got the, the same, same colours. One. Yellow, yeah. blue and the salmon pink. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and green, dark green. And green. green. Yeah. 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 Yellow, blue, and salmon, pink, That's and green. That's good, yay. Ooh. It's quite amazing that we all got the same colours. Ruby, show them yours. Three, two, one. So this is mine. Are you ready? 
Oh, oh, that's really pretty. That's so cute. That's it's a cherry, cherry blossom. blossom. Yeah, it's a cherry yeah. blossom. I didn't want to make it too confusing because I felt like if I added too much to it, then it wouldn't, it would ruin the simplicity of like a patch, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I did one little tree branch with those different flowers. Mm -hmm. I added the teeniest bit of yellow <laughs> to the green of it. Do you know what's funny? These are magnolia flowers and magnolia are a form of blossom. So mine's like the close up version of yours. These these ones aren't magnolia, but those two were. Yeah. I love blossom trees, they're my favorite. Mm -hmm. I really like the way that you've just slightly changed the tones in the pinks mm -hmm. and the yeah. red it Me works too. really well it, it kind of makes it very kind of illustrative could be a book cover so this is mine i really like it and i think this would look really good on kind of anything to be honest so do i again when a it's bag. made when it's made smaller it'll be lovely yeah look really nice on a bag i think that mm. <gasps> oh yeah, yeah yeah definitely so these are our final painted patches comment below which is your favorite Dad's, Jamie's, Rayleigh's, Tracy's or Ruby's. These designs will be made available in a variety of different products, all of which you can do different things with. So you should keep an eye out for that because it's really exciting. I'm excited. Yeah, so am I. But that is the end of our video. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy our content. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.